What's up everybody, Spencer here from Combo Collectibles, and today we are adding some new Demon Slayer Pops to my collection. So let's go! All right, you guys, so I just picked up this package from the Eldritch Lair, and in here we've got six new Demon Slayer Pops from my collection. I'm super excited. Shout out to our friends over at Eldritch Lair. Uh, if you guys haven't already, make sure to check them out at eldritchlair.com. Uh, they have a ton of great deals on anime pops, which is why I got my Demon Slayers there. Uh, so let's crack the case here and check them out. Okay guys, so we've got six new Demon Slayer Pops in here. I'm very excited because uh, I'm finally starting to fill out my Demon Slayer collection. I want all of them. I need all the Demon Slayer Pops. All right, so first up we've got Muzan Kibutsuji. He's so evil and so Michael Jackson looking. <laughs> I do love this pop though, it's really, really cool. Uh, it's like the way he was dressed up when Tanjiro first ran into him in the show. Uh, which is really cool, and he's got like his demon claws out, the red eyes, so it's a pretty cool looking pop, uh, and this box is in really, really good shape as well. I really love the Demon Slayer pops as well, because on the side of the box where it has the picture of the pop, uh, it's different for each character. Uh, there's a different pattern, I think that looks really, really cool. Nice additional touch to these Demon Slayer pops, so Muzan Kibutsuji, nice addition to my Demon Slayer pop collection. Uh, next up, we've got my boy Inosuke. I'm actually wearing my Inosuke... Uh, pop t-shirt that I also got from Eldritch Lair. I thought it would be fun to wear that for this one since we did have an Inosuke Hashibara pop. Very, very cool. So this is the common Inosuke. Uh, it's a really cool looking pop. I do like the pose where he's got his Nitrine swords up front because they've got like those serrated edges. So it's really cool that he's got them right up front so you can really see them. Uh, and nice looking pop too. Really good box. Nice paint job. Very happy with this one. Inosuke is such a cool character. And I love that the blades are shiny too. They gave like a metallic finish to the blade. Uh, which is really, really cool. So very happy to add Inosuke. Uh, I do have the other Inosuke's, the, uh, like the Chalice Collectibles one. Uh, I don't have the Chase yet. I'm still looking for that one, uh, but I do have the regular one as well. And I think this one's going to look really cool up with that one. Okay, who's next? Next, oh, we've got Zenitsu. I love Zenitsu. Some people think he's an annoying character, but I think he's awesome. Zenitsu's so cool. Uh, <laughs> cool. I'm throwing the term cool around pretty loosely there. Uh, but very cool pop. I love that he's asleep reaching for his sword. I mean, obviously, he wouldn't be reaching for his sword if he was awake. But very, very cool pop. I really like this one with the colors. The orange and yellow look really cool. And I love the color of his uniform, too. I think it just kind of stands out, adds some color to the shelf, which is really nice. Um, and again, the side of the box has his own pattern on it as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, so we got Zenitsu for the collection. Next up... We got uh, my boy Tanjiro. Love Tanjiro. Who doesn't love Tanjiro? He's like the world's nicest anime character. Um, but this one's really cool too. I do have some of the special edition Tanjiros. Uh, but I actually really like this one for a common. Um, like I said, the, the special edition ones are cool. But I really like the pose. He's got his sword drawn, battle ready. It's a very cool pop. I really like it. I like the colors that they did for his hair where it blends from like the kind of black to like that reddish brown. That's a lot of detail for a Funko Pop, and I think it looks really, really good, and they've even got, like, his uniform blowing in the wind, so I think Tanjiro is probably one of the coolest common pops in the Demon Slayer line, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Okay, now we've got two more to go. So, I'm going to move this out of the way so we can see what we're doing. Now we've got Nezuko. So I really, really like the Nezuko pop as well. It's super cute, uh, even though it looks like she's kind of in a bit of a battle pose with her claws up, which is kind of cool. Um, the colors on her, her uniform with like the pink and then the green of the bamboo really stands out. Uh, and they did a nice job of her multicolored hair as well. So really like this one, super cool. Um, I'm actually hoping to get the Nezuko and Tanjiro signed because they are coming to a convention near me this summer. So I'm definitely going to get those two autographed, uh, which is going to be really cool. And the Nezuko and Tanjiro are both in excellent shape, too. The boxes are in really, really good condition. Uh, so very happy with that. Thank you so much to Eldritch Lair. Really appreciate the pops always coming in such nice condition. Uh, now, we've got one more in here, uh, but this one is an exclusive and is in a protector as well. We have the AAA anime exclusive Giyu. So I'm going to pop him out of the case here so we can take a bit of a better look at that. All right, there we go, you guys. Giyu Tomioka, very, very cool pop. Really interesting character, too. Um, so far, he's been pretty awesome in the show, but I really want to see him go ham in a fight. Uh, anyway, this is one of the coolest pops in the line because it has the clear blue 
uh, water effects. I think that looks super cool with him doing his attack. I also love the multicolors of his uniform. Uh, that looks really cool too. Adds a bit of color to his pop, but the water effects are super awesome. Uh, the one special edition Tanjiro has those as well, uh, but I think they did a really, really nice job of the water effects on Giyu. Um, we've got the uh, authentic AAA anime sticker on there as well, and this one is pretty much in mint condition also. Oh, and I really love on the side of the box too, with the, they did the multicolor like his uniform, which is super cool. Definitely a really cool pop, must have for the Demon Slayer collection. Now, these are awesome, don't get me wrong, but I definitely saved the best for last. We have one more pop from the Demon Slayer line. We have the Tanjiro versus Rui pop moment. Oh my gosh, I had to get this when I saw it. It's so freaking cool. This is actually my first pop moment in my entire collection. I absolutely love it. It's so freaking cool. The ground that they're standing on looks like the forest. Uh, there's the big wall of the blood demon art exploding blood from Nezuko. Tanjiro looks awesome with his Hinokami flames coming at him. There's even some trees in the background and the Rui pop looks absolutely amazing. This is such a good looking pop. They did such a killer job on this. I had to cave and finally buy a pop moment to add to my collection. Uh, and I was really happy I was able to get that from Eldritch Lair for a great price, by the way. Of course, now I have to try to find a custom size protector to fit this in though, because heads up guys, they don't fit in a regular pop moment protector. I almost learned that the hard way, but it'll totally be worth it to add such a sick pop to my Demon Slayer collection. I absolutely love this one. Thanks again to Eldritch Lair for getting these in. Guys, if you haven't already, check them out online, eldritchlair.com. Get yourself a great deal on some awesome anime pops. And make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel because we have some more Funko Pop reviews, Funko Soda Chase Hunts, anime figure unboxings, and convention coverage headed your way very shortly, and you guys won't want to miss it. Uh, but right now, I want to thank you so much for watching, and we will see y'all next time.